Hey guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are breaking some more plus size fashion rules. I did a video like this back in the summer and it was so much fun. It felt so good. So I thought we could break some more of these rules, but for winter. I posted on my Instagram story and the community tab here on YouTube and asked you guys to give me some suggestions on what plus size fashion rules I should break. I picked the most requested ones and we're doing it. And I'm so excited to be partnering with Savage X Fenty again for this video. Literally the perfect sponsor for this video because they are all about making your own rules and expressing mood and character and style for you, not for someone else. I am a Savage X Fenty ambassador, which is so freaking cool. I'm really honored to be able to work with a brand that's all about inclusivity and empowerment and self-confidence. Savage X Fenty offers hundreds of styles of bras, undies, sleepwear, lingerie, and more in sizes extra extra small to 3X and 32A to 42H. I seriously have not tried a single style that I didn't love from Savage X Fenty. All of their stuff is amazing. I am obsessed with this set of the Savage X satin cami and drawstring short. I have it in two different colors, but I just think this dark purple one is gorgeous. And of course their bras and bralettes are fantastic. The Savage X demi cup is one of my current favorites. I love how supportive these straps are without digging into my shoulders at all. They're super comfortable. And and the lower cup like neckline on it means I can wear it with low cut tops without having to worry about my bra showing. I love this cotton jersey bralette and the thermal boxer shorts. So comfy and cute for just lounging around the house. I have pretty much been living in these. So be sure to check out Savage X Fenty from my link in the description. And if you wanna join their extra VIP program, you can get 50% off your entire first order. You can get bras for as low as $15, bralettes as low as 10 and undies as low as $7. Such a great deal for such high quality stuff. I really love Savage X Fenty. So thank you for sponsoring. Now let's go break some of these fashion rules. Good morning, my beautiful friends. I feel very cute. If this is breaking plus size rules, then those rules are wrong. Because yeah, maybe this outfit doesn't give my figure very much shape. It's just kind of loose and oversized, but that doesn't mean it's not cute. It's just a different look. I think something that I've really, you know, started to learn with dressing my plus size body is that not everything has to be perfectly flattering. And also flattering means different things to different people. So when I say something's flattering, I mean, it's hitting what my idea is of how I would want my body to look. And while this maybe isn't emphasizing my waist or my hips in a way I would typically consider flattering, I still think I look really cute. And this is the perfect outfit for today because it's actually pretty cold in San Diego for once. It's like 58 degrees right now. So I'm gonna be bundled up working at home at my desk for the first half of the day. And then when Steven gets home from work, we are driving up to Anaheim and staying the night at the Disneyland Hotel so that we can go and ride the new Star Wars ride when it opens tomorrow. We made it up to Anaheim into our hotel. I added these little brown booties and my little Louis Vuitton backpack to complete this outfit. I feel like it's really cute. It's definitely cozy and comfy. And even though this outfit may be breaking some plus size rules, I feel like those rules are irrelevant because to me this outfit looks cute i feel confident in it and it's interesting that with the chunky knit sweaters rule and the nothing oversized rule i think both of those are because they tend to make your body look bigger and i don't think there's anything wrong with your body being bigger like i think the whole idea that we we should be doing everything we can to make our bodies appear smaller is incorrect and something that i am trying to actively fight in my own brain. So not every outfit that I wear needs to make my body look smaller. It's okay that this is oversized and chunky and gives my body extra girth to it. That's fine. And I'm just glad that I got to rock this sweater today and, and feel cute and confident. i 
Curvicurd hoodie from my merch line. If you want to get it, link in the description, thecurvycrew.com. Cute and cozy and cropped, which is appropriate for all figures. See, I don't understand how there could be rules against an outfit like this, because to me, this is like the ideal, like, comfy Disney day look, and I feel like it flatters my figure in a way that I really like. The crop hits at the perfect part of my waist, so it shows my hips and my thighs and a little bit of my stomach. I like the way that the leggings pair with it. You know, it's kind of the perfect like in between. And I feel like wearing leggings as pants, like I get that rule if they're see-through because I feel like a couple years ago, I struggled a lot to find leggings that I could actually wear as pants. But the ones that I wear now, these are fabletic. They're like totally squat proof. Like you can't see anything at all. And they're comfy and stretchy and I just love them. Like why wouldn't I wear these as pants? The only thing I could like maybe see why some people would not like it is because it does show some of my cellulite on the back of my leg. But I guess, I don't know, a couple years ago, I probably would have said, oh, I wouldn't want to show the backs of my thighs in tight leggings like this because it does show my cellulite. But now, I don't care. That's the way my body is naturally, whether I'm showing it or covering it. So if I like wearing leggings as pants, why not show it? Okay, so we took a little midday break back in our hotel room since we did have such an early start to the day. And since it's getting chillier now, I wanted to put on like a heavier jacket that I had on earlier in the day, but I didn't bring any crop tops to wear under it. So I just took this like guy's t-shirt that I had that's also like Star Wars themed, so it's fitting. And I tied it up into a little bit of a crop. So we're still sticking with the theme of this video, even though it's a little bit of a different outfit on top and still breaking two plus size rules. So I'm ready to take on the Disney night in my oh-so-scandalous plus-size outfit. feeling this third day look oh my gosh this is so freaking cute so as you guys saw yesterday we were at Disneyland we stayed the night there so we just drove back home this morning well kind of this morning I woke up at 5 a.m. we decided to go ride rise of the resistance again I took a cute Instagram picture in this like Ray-esque Disney bound but now we're home it's about one o'clock and I am just about to get into like the bulk of my day my only gripe with this outfit actually has nothing to do with the rules that I'm breaking. It's just that these pants are very wrinkled <laughs> and I'm too lazy to seam them or iron them. So hopefully they just kind of de-wrinkle throughout the day. So, but here's my question about these two rules, the no turtlenecks and no tight fitting sweaters. Like those rules just don't make sense to me. I guess the tight fitting thing kind of goes against the stigma that as a plus size girl, you should wear clothes that don't show your figure. You should try to hide it or cover it up. But why, why turtlenecks? What's wrong with a turtleneck? I'm gonna read back through your guys' comments and recommendations that I pulled from Instagram and YouTube and see if anyone gave me some insight because that just, seem, that just seems weird to me. Oh, okay. I'm seeing a lot of people say that they were told that turtlenecks shouldn't be worn by plus size girls or really anything high neck because it accentuates your chest. And God forbid some girls with bigger boobies show them off a little bit. Maybe that's part of why I like turtlenecks, honestly. I do like that it accentuates my chest and I feel like this one being a turtleneck and also being fitted like triples that. And I'm not mad about it. I feel like, you know, that's part of my body. That's the way my body is. It's something that I'm pretty comfortable and confident with. So yeah, why not rock a tight fitting turtleneck that does accentuate my chest? Also, of course, underneath this nice fitting turtleneck, I'm wearing a bra from Savage X Fenty. They are the best. <laughs> I've been editing for two and a half hours and have the video down to an hour and 11 minutes. Please go watch this vlog. I am pouring my blood, sweat, and tears into it. It's nighttime. I'm still editing. I'm still in my cute outfit. I'm almost done. And I think I wanna go somewhere tonight, maybe like out to dinner with a friend or, or even just go run some errands on my own. Like I just, I wanna go do something. Wow, says the girl who spent the morning at Disneyland. <laughs> We're go kart racing! Yay! Woo! I went out with my friend Corey. Hey! And I feel like this outfit has been pretty good. It was definitely comfortable for moving around in in the go kart. 
I had my first like insecurity of the the last three days that I've been wearing these outfits that break plus size rules. Up until this point, I haven't really had any moments where I felt insecure or unconfident or like self-conscious about any parts of my body. But while I was sitting in the go-kart, because this is a tight fitted sweater and I tucked it into these pants, I'm really comfortable with the way it looks when I'm standing up. But when I sat down, I feel like it was really, you know, showing my stomach, accentuating my stomach. And even though I was in a go-kart and literally no one could see me, I feel like I started to get a little bit self-conscious. And not even self-conscious like, oh, someone else is gonna see the way my stomach looks. It's like, I'm seeing this and I'm not happy with it. I don't know, it was weird. It's a good exercise to break these plus size rules and have to consciously fight that and be like, no, there's nothing wrong with my stomach showing. There's nothing wrong with this sweater accentuating it. That's totally fine. That's the way my body is. And I love that I'm giving like a body positive rant while there's go-karts going on in the background. <laughs> This, this is what I'm talking about. When I get like the pooch, when I sit down, I'm embracing it. Embrace the pooch. Also, I realized I'm breaking another rule that I didn't really realize. Horizontal stripes. I broke that in the last breaking plus size rules for a week video. So I didn't really think to include it in this video, but I guess I subconsciously did. And it still looks great. are rules that I actually think I do kind of impose on myself. Not wearing white has really nothing to do with like my body or being plus size. Honestly, I'm just a messy person. And if I wear a white shirt, it definitely is gonna have a couple little stains on it by the end of the day. So I tend to not wear a ton of white. And if I do, I definitely carry one of those little Tide pens with me for the day. Messy queens, sound off in the comments if you also can't wear anything white. I, I tend to not wear puffer jackets because I don't like the extra bulk that they add to me. There's nothing wrong with being bulkier, with being bigger. It's one of those things that's just ingrained in my, my brain that's hard to fight sometimes. And so even though I really do love the look and the style of a puffer jacket. I'll see it on other people all the time and I'll be like, that looks so freaking cute, especially white puffer jackets in particular. But I got this puffer jacket and I've maybe worn it twice just because every time I put it on, I'm like, I don't know, like is this, is this for me? Puffer jackets can be for anyone, but I do think that this is a plus size rule that is gonna take a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of pushing to really conquer today. So I've got my cute little athleisure outfit on today with the puffer jacket because I am out walking with Kenzie and her baby Harlan and my dog baby. Bruiser, hi queen. Okay, so puffer jacket, cute or not? Be honest. I like it. Well, I said I liked it. When you walked up, I was like, oh, I like your jacket. And you're like, thanks. I'm doing a video where I'm breaking rules. I'm like, what rules? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't really like wearing puffer jackets because I feel like they make me look bigger, which like isn't a bad thing, but I feel like that's just in my head, you know? But they're cozy. They are cozy. Yippee, 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 yippee. good day after I last filmed with Kenzie on our little walk. I went over to my parents' house and spent like three hours sorting through old photos. I've been talking a lot about this curly girl method video that I'm working on and I wanted to get some like old photos of my hair when I was little and then like my teenage years to kind of show the progression of my hair throughout my life. So I got those and then I went and made scans of those, did a couple other errands. Now I'm here at the post office. I feel like I'm still kind of torn on the puffer jacket. Even in this clip, like I just feel like it makes my shoulders so broad. It makes me look so much more bulky. It's not even like uh, being big because I had no problem with the oversized knit sweater that I wore on the first day. I don't know the bulk. It almost feels less feminine, which shouldn't matter. And that's also like the style, like puffer jackets are meant to be big, thick, bulky, oversized, and kind of give that look, which is again, why I paired it with the tighter fitting, like athleisure outfit underneath. I think I like the way this jacket looks with this outfit, 
more so than I would if I wore it with like jeans and, and like a sweater or a t-shirt underneath. That being said though, as with all the other rules that I'm conquering this week, I still don't think the no puffer jackets for plus size girls rule should exist. I think it's ridiculous. I think no matter what your size, if you like the style of a puffer jacket, rock it. Who cares? But in terms of like implementing those rules on yourself, I think I I do understand this one a little bit more because I don't think I was like feeling myself as much in this outfit as I have been the past few days. But I really have to do some self reflection on that and be like, oh, is that just because I don't like the style? Or is that like some deep seated resentment towards the idea of clothing making me look bigger? I don't think I really have an answer for that. Maybe a little bit of both. But I do think that wearing this today definitely helped me conquer those fears. I took a cute little photo in it when I was with Kenzie and I, I feel like I'll post this on Instagram. I feel like it looks really, really cute. Maybe I need to wear more puffer jackets and continue conquering this fear and smashing this plus size rule. I cannot stress this enough. If it's not high waisted, I probably don't want it. And I just, I just feel like tucking, tucking anything into high waisted jeans look cute, especially like a nice little graphic tee like this. But I feel like it really flatters my figure. It makes me feel comfortable. I can move around in it. I've actually been already wearing this for like four hours today while I was like filming a bunch of other stuff. And I felt so comfortable in this. I like totally forgot it was even for a video. Like I just, it's me and it's cute and it makes me feel confident. So this is a rule that I absolutely positively wholeheartedly disagree with because like come on Come on. This is cute. This is cute on anyone anybody The only thing I can think of with like not wearing high-waisted jeans and not tucking anything in is when I sit down It does highlight the pooch right here. You can definitely see my stomach more Which is kind of the rule that I unintentionally also conquered on day three and I feel like in that outfit I did feel a little bit self-conscious, but for whatever reason with jeans like I just I just don't really care. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I love high-waisted jeans so much. I, I don't let it bother me as much as I did with the pants, but sitting, standing, jumping, running around, whatever, I feel like this outfit makes me feel confident. Trying to become a TikTok star in one week, take one. All right, end of the day. Hair is messy. Dogs are running. And I have zero complaints about this outfit. Look, it's Rachel. You're going to edit this later. Yay. <laughs> but yeah, no complaints about this outfit. I absolutely love it. And it seems ridiculous that either of those two things would be a plus size fashion rule because I think those two things actually made my outfit look better, made me feel more confident. So I say rock the high waisted jeans and rock the tucked in shirt. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun breaking all these plus size fashion rules. I feel like it's such a good exercise just for me in, you know, pushing myself out of my comfort zone and breaking down those mental barriers of what things I should and shouldn't wear. And of course, another big thank you to Savage X Fenty for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. Savage X Fenty is really reinventing the lingerie industry by standing for all inclusivity and self-expression. And I am just honored to get to work with them. I, it's so cool. I just love it. Be sure to check them out from my link in the description. And when you join their extra VIP program, you can get 50% off your entire first order. When you head over to their website, you can take a quick, fun little style quiz to find out which Savage X you are. And Savage will suggest styles specifically catered towards your personal taste. And don't forget to enter your email to get exclusive offers up to 50% off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be confident, be kind to your body. Go break some fashion rules and I will see you on Friday. Bye.